What's up guys, Stark here. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the 30 Stamina Chaos Difficulty Saudi Coliseum fight. Now this fight is, um, in my opinion, it's actually harder than the Kid Coliseum fight. And that's mostly because of Stage 4, which is going to be Arlong, who is really difficult to kill in my opinion. Now I'm going to be using a double Stronghold Ace team here. But, uh, where is the one I'm actually using? This is the one I'm actually going to use here. Now, we're not using Frankie on this team because Arlong will give you an orb boost. So, using Frankie here is kind of pointless. And you do need Usopp to stall. And then we're taking Gladius for his HP cut. And the fact that he gives himself a blue orb is going to make killing Arlong significantly easier. But it'll still be pretty close. Now you, you do unfortunately have to stall here for your specials and because we do not have Usopp books at this point in time or Gladius books for that matter you are going to be stalling for quite a while which does make farming this a little tedious but in my opinion this is one of the better teams that you can use especially for me like I don't have Log Luffy so I can't go around testing out how much better he would be but anyway, this team is fairly simple and fairly easy. Of course, I mean, it is not very free to play. But, you know, this is the best team I have. I'm not really sure if there are free to play teams. I mean, I'm sure there's something out there. But Arlong is pretty tough to kill. He's He's got a ton of health. So we, we do need to make sure we stall long enough here for Usopp. And that does mean we will have to take a couple hits. Uh, let's see, we'll kill this guy first. So the reason why I like Ace is, in my opinion, one of the better teams for it is just because you have so much HP to work with. You can just sit here on stage 3 or stage 2 or whatever you want and just pretty much stall quite a while for your specials. And I do have some auto heal so I will recover some of that HP. I am trying to conserve those blue orbs for Arlong because you really do need them. He has around, I think he has close to 5 million HP. And you have, if you if you uh, use Usopp, you have like five turns to kill him or something like that. It's it's really it's usually really close unless you get really good or or block on your Gladius. All right, so we are almost ready to move on here. Alright, so here we go. Arlong is going to start by clearing out all of your current buffs, and then he's going to give you a small orb boost. So you don't want to use Usopp here. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and use Gladius to give you that HP cut, and then you want to attack normally. And you'll see why as soon as I finish attacking here. Oh, we missed. That's going to be really bad for us. So, as you can see here, Arlong is going to Berserk himself. Which, it means if you would have used Usopp first there, it would have wiped out the delay. But now you can go ahead and use Usopp, and that's going to do another 10% HP cut. Which is very important. And now you just have to hope... You get some decent orb luck, and you have three turns to kill Arlong. And we did get a, an orb there on Gladius, which is very important. Gladius has a ton of attack, so if you can get one matching orb on Gladius after you use up, you should easily be able to kill Arlong. Now, that did look pretty simple, but 
Gladius is very important. If you do not have Gladius, that extra 20% does not come off Arlong's health, which makes it it makes it really difficult. Like I don't even know who you could swap in. Maybe like Capone. So we're just gonna go ahead and use Heracles, Ace, and Zephyr. And the thing with Sadi is she will summon different units each turn if she's still alive. Um, let me just switch my orbs here. So we're going to use Ace especially here to wipe out the, the fodder unit surrounding Sadi. And then if we do not kill Sadi in one turn, which we probably won't, she's going to summon some more units. But we can use the second Ace special to eliminate them and finish the job. So overall it is pretty easy if you have that team that can clear Arlong. But if, if you don't have like Gladius, oh we did kill her in one turn. If you don't have Gladius or like Capone or, or someone that can give you those blue orbs on your highest, uh, your strongest quick character, it, Arlong is going to make your life very difficult. And uh, Sadi's not really that good, so unless you're someone like me who wants to farm all the units, you know, it's not really worth it. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. And, you know, if it did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.